What's up guys? So as a result of doing the quarter two market updates for real estate here on the west side of Los Angeles and just showing you exactly how this pandemic transparently with the numbers has been impacting our markets and whether or not we've had a rebound yet, which clearly if you've checked out my videos for Mar Vista, Venice, Brentwood and Santa Monica for quarter two, you'll clearly see that we're not nearly even close to where we were just one year ago. And I've got newer and newer construction dialed in for those same areas, Brentwood, Venice, Santa Monica and Venice. So you can see exactly how two different markets are being impacted in a heavy way right now. Now, as a result of being impacted, you know, buyers have been dropping off. The sales aren't occurring as fast as they once used to. And the inventory is just going through the roof, doubling up in some neighborhoods. Now, what is that leading to? Well, it's led to a trend that's been prevalent in years before, but this one is, hey, you know what? If your price isn't working, we'll just cancel we'll reduce it and then we'll bring it on the market again. But guess what? When they bring it back on the market, it comes back as brand new listing to the top. All eyes are on it, but guess what? It's the same house. No new marketing has been done, but that is not what this video is going to be about my friends, because obviously canceled is part of the trend, but also it's followed by expireds and withdrawns. And this video is not going to be about how to get expireds, cancels or withdrawns because clearly we can do that. And if you need to know how to do that, please drop a comment. I'm more than happy to help you out. But this is from a personal experience that I want to drop on you. It's how to make sure that you get paid when you as an agent take over an expired, canceled, or withdrawn listing that was once previously listed by another agent. So stay dialed in here because, hey, this could save you tens of thousands of dollars. Keep it dialed in. What's up, what's up, you guys? Hope you guys are doing fantastic, staying safe at home. And if you're outside and about, you're wearing that mask. Obviously, you can see I'm back in the studio in the garage. It's cooled off. I told you a couple weeks, you know, and that August heat is over. So I hope it stays that way. But welcome back to my channel. I'm so stoked to have you. And if you haven't checked me out before, and this is your first time, I'm super stoked because I'm here to make sure that you're fully aware of how this pandemic is impacting our local real estate markets here on the west side of Los Angeles. And not only that, but also tips, tricks, and strategies that you can be implementing as a buyer, seller, or investor to stay successful in this market or any market for that matter. And please, my friends, if you haven't already, like, comment, and smash that subscription button because I'm here to keep delivering content that has extreme value for you guys in all your comments I check out because that gives me tips and ideas for the next video. If there's some questions I can answer, please drop them in the comments. And these subscriptions and likes are making sure that YouTube knows that you're feeling me and feeling my content. Keeps me motivated to keep bringing it to you and keeping ideas going in my head so that I can come up with some awesome stuff that you guys are gonna feel and find value in. So without further more, let's get into what you need to know, not only as an agent to get paid after taking over an expired, cancel or withdrawn, but also how you should be protecting your homeowner, your seller. Keep it dialed in. So in this market, my friends, there are definitely some new trends that are happening. It's not the market of one year ago where there was just multiple offers happening all day long. It is happening when price is set right, but not to the degree that we were experiencing one year ago. And buyer demand has kind of shriveled up and you know the amount of inventory has substantially increased. And in some neighborhoods here on the west side of Los Angeles, it's gone up to two times the amount it was just one year ago. And what is that leading to? Well, when you have a lot of inventory picking up, there's a lot of competition among sellers then. And sellers are now having to consider the idea of reducing their homes in order to actually have a selling chance. And a lot of the homes in Mar Vista, we'll use that as an example, have endured quite a few price reductions and still are sitting on the market, which has then caused listings to expire, cancel, or withdraw. Now expired means they went through the whole term of the listing contract period. Cancel or withdrawn means that, you know what, maybe they just weren't seeing eye to eye with their listing agent and so they decided to move on. In a lot of situations, they're looking to meet with a new agent to list their home because they're serious and they want to get it Done. Now, I'm not about to jump into the video about how you get expires, cancels, or withdrawals, how you get in front of them, but I do want to cover how you make sure that you get paid at the end of the day when you've secured a listing from one of these opportunities. And let's say you've already gone through the whole spiel of marketing it, you priced it right, you've got buyers interested, actually maybe you've got accepted offer, or you've even closed already, you've got the check and it's been a month since 
the closing. Well, guess what, my friends? If you don't have your stuff dialed in and organized, you can have the previous listing agent coming after you. And here's why. When a listing goes expired, canceled, or withdrawn, and that homeowner decides not to work with the previous agent they have been working with, that previous agent will provide the homeowner with a full list of buyers that came through via open house, private showings, maybe Zoom showings now, or FaceTime showings as well, but anyone that came through that they've noted down in a list of buyers that came through that house. And why are they doing that? They provide that list to the homeowner to give it to me, so they let me know, hey, these are all the buyers that came through during the time that I had the listing, and here in California, it says that if a buyer comes through that was on her or his list for the previous agent that had the listing, they are due that commission. No matter what you did on the listing, they are due that full commission. This is why you wanna be protected. So obviously you're getting that list from the homeowner of all the buyers that came through via the previous listing agent. Well, I go one step further to protect myself. I send that list that I got from the homeowner to the listing agent that sent it to the homeowner so that they know that I have it. I've confirmed that that is the exact list of buyers that they want me to have. There's no other changes to be made now because I have it. They've then since confirmed, they've gotten my email saying, yes, we know you have the list. Good luck on the listing. And I know you'll get it done for this family. That's what happened. And then after we closed, that agent tried to come after me saying that the commission was hers. It was due to her because the buyer, she says, was on her list. Well, that list was provided to me, my friends. And remember, as I mentioned to you, I sent it to that listing agent to confirm that she knew I had it. It was the right list. I got that confirmation email back from her and that was my saving grace because if I didn't have that, I would have been screwed because she had another list that somehow magically materialized and magically had the buyer's name written on it now. Now, mind you, this did not happen during escrow. This happened a month after we closed. So I already had the check in my account deposited and spending it on bills and whatnot. And all of a sudden this agent's coming at me saying, hey, you owe me that. That's my commission now. Well, the fact that I was completely organized and dialed in and sent that email to her, she had no case anymore, which was fantastic because God forbid that I was gonna have to drum up 25, 30,000 plus in commission that I really didn't have available to give to her. So make sure, my friends, that you are going that one extra step to protect yourself because that list is ever important. Now, it's unfortunate if the buyer does happen to be on that list, and yes, she would have been do that, but the fact is, that the list I was provided with did not have the buyer on it. The second list did, but I was never provided with that second list. I was only provided with the first list. So make sure that you've got your all your ducks in a row when you're taking over a listing from an expired, canceled, or withdrawn. And make sure also that your homeowner is fully aware of this and how it works because they could potentially be on the hook for paying two commissions, which you never want them to have to experience that, especially after they just closed, especially with my personal situation. They were on the market for six months. They were listed $400,000 higher than they should have been. And I actually had the homeowner come to me when we first were meeting asking me, does not anybody love my home? And I felt so bad for her. But you know, there were certain things that needed to be done to make it happen, to get it sold, and that's what we did. But all those things can be forgotten if you don't get paid, right? So make sure you dial this in. If you've got questions, leave the comments below. I'm happy to answer any and all questions because this is extremely important. This is how you get paid. This is you hustling and grinding for a month and a half through the escrow and then hearing that that commission is no longer yours because you didn't do one step to confirm that that was the right list. Listen, my friends, this is important for you and homeowners alike. I hope you found tremendous value in it. This is what I'm all about is bringing content that has value. So keep it dialed in here Monday, Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I always got your back. And if you need an agent on the west side, Los Angeles, I'm right here for you. Reach out to me any day. Have a great one and have a blessed week.